Hello. So this is my soul food art journal. This is a class that I took with Tiffany at Southern Girls Design. Um, it took me from Jan uh, July to December 2019 to finish it. Um, it was a fun journal. Um, first, you took cardboard and made the cover. And she gave directions on how to sew it. And then we played with inks and made various pages. And it was fun sewing it together and um, working in it. And she showed us different techniques that I had never tried before. And I'll try to point some of those out as um, I go through the journal. So the waiting for Lily is, I was we were waiting for my granddaughter to be born. I used a lot of the Tim Holtz snarky comments I really like. So this is one of the pages she taught us how to do this string. And I've never done that before and I really like that. This is another page she taught us using masking tape in the background for texture and then using a pin. I didn't have one of the pins she had, but this is one, a stick pin from my mom from her jewelry box. And so I used it instead. You can see the sewing on the pages. All that was done beforehand. Um, this was another one she taught. I kind of added to it by um, putting crackle paste, clear crackle paste on top of the picture. This is one of my favorites. You see this was probably around Halloween. I did this one. And then it opens up and... I have um, this. I was trying some abstract art on that one. This is another one of my favorites. I really like this. I believe this is another page she gave instructions for. The background here is a uh, paper towel, inked up paper towel from doing the covers. This one I really like. I really like the colors. I like the textures. This is canvas paper, and I learned that I really like the canvas paper. And as you can really see the inky background um, that was done prior to putting the book together on one of the pages. I really like this messy one. Um, I was really liking, I used the graphite water-soluble um, sticks for the background over white gesso and then put these black patterned papers and then just covered it with 
black and gray paint and then I added this little bit of color um, this is definitely my favorite page this was really enjoyed doing this I hesitated at first you can see the ink in the background all the blue ink that I used this one I didn't like at first but it grew on me the colors were a little bit bright but I needed something bright the day that I was doing that you can see breathe uh, you'll get through this me um, it was just a little thing to myself I was having a hard time um, in my classroom and getting through the week this is another one I really like the brown paper and I liked it with uh, the white I like mixing those This was another technique she taught us, was threading, and I just happened to have this little piece of um, ribbon, and I used that. So this was another technique she taught us. I don't know if you can see it, but this has got a lot of glitter on it. I went through a glitter stage. I think it was because I needed to get through something and glitter was like the thing to help me get through. Um, this is an envelope. From an envelope I tore. Then you can really see the inky paper writing that I used on the papers before um, I painted on them. This is one that a lot of people really liked when I showed it, when I posted it. I really like this. You can see the ink. And I believe those are um, mm, I'm not sure. Pastels, I think. This was just a disaster, but I left it. Obviously, you can see I was going through a hard time when I did this. And then this is just a piece of fabric that I put over. You can see the glitter. Really like this page, how it turned out. It was, um, I felt really brave doing this page. It was unlike anything I had done before. Um, you can see this is Christmas, or give or take. This is December 1st. So getting ready for Christmas, all the glitter. I had a lot of problems with this page sticking, um, so I learned while I did this to use this spray, the sealer, as um, as I was going through because this page stuck pretty bad, and um, I had a difficult time getting it separated. Um, it's a napkin and um, paper towel background, and when I used decoupage, it just stuck from the after the humidity. Um, so spraying with this spray helped with that and also the pages that had a lot of glitter on it. That was one thing I learned while I was doing this. There's another favorite. It's just a scribbly page, but I really liked it. And again, you can see the smart, snarky quote from Tim Holtz. And this is the last page. And when I end a journal... 
I always thank the journal. So I thanked it for the experiment, the experience, and for the lessons I learned while working within the pages. I talked about all the things that I learned while I was doing the journal just to kind of keep track of things. And then this is the back cover. So if you're interested in making one of these journals, I really encourage you. It was different working in this size and I was a little leery about it, but I had the best time working in this. And I felt really supported by Tiffany and all the other people artists that were um, also taking the soul food class so if you're interested in that class and no I don't get any kickbacks or pay from Tiffany um, go to at Southern Girl Designs and click on her link and you'll see the soul food class and I highly recommend taking this this was well worth the time that it took to put it together and I really would like to make another one and I'm seriously thinking about it. Thank you for joining.